Tell me how I breathe without a way. How we gonna be forever, girl, if you ain't there? Tell me how I'm supposed to be without you. There is not a reason good enough to live without you. Tell me how I breathe without a way. How we gonna be forever, girl, if you ain't there? Tell me how I'm supposed to be without you. There is not a reason good enough to live without you. Bruh. What's up guys, it's your favorite couple's favorite couple and we're back. It's another video. Ew. Oh, you're so dry. <laughs> and we're back with another video. <sighs> so what are we gonna talk about today? So today, well first of all, let's show some appreciation to these sweatshirts. What did they say? Yeah, that is so cute, can y'all tell? We should be sitting the other way. <laughs> he says, I stole her heart, and my said, says, so I'm stealing his last name. We got it for, as a Christmas gift after we got engaged. And if y'all haven't checked out our engagement video, check that out. Now, stop what you're doing, go look at it. Right, not right now, for real. For okay, real. we'll wait, we'll wait. No, nah, for real. All right, so today we're going to do a video on how we met. So we're going to do this video a little bit different. Um, Chris is going to tell her side of the story first, and I'm going to tell my side of the story second because it, it, they, they actually don't align. So, but y'all y'all see who was telling the truth by the time this video is over with. So go ahead. Go. We're not going to bore y'all too much, but a little background that y'all probably should know. That I am 30 years old, and... I'm 26. So she was I hear Crater a lot. You know what I'm saying? All the young guys know what's up. You know what I'm saying? They be, they be trying to check this out. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, y'all. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm a flight attendant. And um, you are? A chef. Why do we keep jumping back and forth with these questions? But yeah, I'm a chef. Um, yeah, I own a business. I own a food truck. So. That's what I do for the wood. I feel good. That was necessary for y'all to for um Boy, if you don't get anybody with a beard know how good that feels. Yeah, it was um necessary for y'all to know that because um I guess it has something to do with how we met. So I'm a flight attendant and uh beginning the beginning stages of being a flight attendant is not pretty. So I felt <laughs> I decided to be a server at this lounge that was it's a restaurant and the lounge i'm not gonna uh say the name because y'all might be watching shout out to that boy boss they don't know who boss is anyways we get little girlfriends from there to be watching them. like boss they talk about you in a video so you can be like what's up anyway man stop boring these people jump, jump <laughs> come on let's do it so I decided to get a job at this um, restaurant and lounge or whatever. And um, I saw Anthony on one weekend of work. I only worked on the weekends. Um, I walked in the back door and I was smiling. And the first thing he ever said to me was, I could never be mad at you because you're always smiling. Or you're like, you always seem so happy. Little did he know. Satan. <laughs> my eyelashes are a little raggedy right now. But anyway, so, um, I mean, that's how we met at work. We met at work. I was a server and he was the chef. Um, now how we got to start talking was a different, is a different story. Like, um, w one day he was like, this is my last day at work. We were working brunch and it was super slow. So we were talking and he was like, this is my last day at work. And I had already been crushing on him a little bit, whatever. So I said, I told him, um, well, well, let's exchange numbers before you leave so we can keep in touch with each other, whatever. Um, since I wasn't gonna see him anymore. And so literally, 
um, when he was done, I was sitting at the bar because my shift was over. And I was hanging out with my girlfriend at the time, my homegirl. And we were literally talking to guys at the bar. And he came, took my phone, put his number in it. And that was it. I don't remember that. And I had to get, I had to text him first, y'all. He never hit me up. <laughs> That's not the story I remember at all. Ahead, me, me and you know who was sitting at the bar. I don't remember that story. Go yeah, ahead. we were sitting at the bar. You do remember that you came up because my shift is over. I don't remember that, but that's okay. Oh, uh, her boo boo was there from um. I don't remember that. All right, you done, you done with your part because I'm about to tell you. That's my part of the story. It's just we met at work. I had to make the first move in order for us to start talking, and the rest is history. And then from there, we played a game of cat and mouse because at one point, I would like him, and he wasn't feeling me, and then he would like me, and I wasn't really feeling him. But um, if y'all watched our last video, you would know our first date was going to the mountains. Well... It wasn't our first she date, She wouldn't even but put me on her Snapchat. She was trying to hide the kid. That's crazy. Because deep down inside, I did not want to go. I didn't even like him when we went to the mountains. Mm -hmm. What well, you do? Then, then, after we left the mountains, we just was inseparable. You, you done? Because I'm ready to tell my story now. All right. Tell your story. Tell your story. All right. So, boom. Let me paint the picture for you. I did not mean to interrupt you because you kept interrupting me. I'm about to tell the okay. real story, you okay. hear me? I'm about to tell the real story. So, alright, boom. I'm at work, right? And it's this little, pretty little light skin, you know what I'm saying? Oh, please. Swinging, don't, don't swinging do that. her hair around, you feel me? She came and walked. She used to, alright, so it's like, let me explain to y'all how this At work. the time, I was like, what? I was 27 and you were like 23. Yeah, it don't matter. 24. That's what happens when you're a player. But anyway, so. But y'all, I didn't know that. I didn't know he was that young. He acts older than his age. Okay, go. So she was at, like, so I'm working in the kitchen, you know, any anybody that work in the kitchen, you know, I'm doing my thing, whatever. And every time she would work, I would, I would, it's a little, it's a little, she tripping about it too big. Put it too big away. Put that over there. So it was like a little, a little wall. So put your arm over there. So this is the wall, yeah. She's like this. Peeking at me over the wall. So I'm like, man, who is this girl keep peeking at me? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, why she keep peeking? Like every day she peeking, 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 smiling. I'm like, I'm like, damn, I got something on my face, or so, you know what I'm saying? What's up? So <clears throat> then eventually I was like, man, I can never be mad at you because you know you always smile. So that part of it is true. Now this is where the story changes. So I was getting ready to leave that job and go to another job. This is before I had a food truck or anything. I was getting ready to leave and start a new job. So when I was getting ready to leave, I do remember you sitting at the bar and all of that. But this is where the story differs. And she swore bananas didn't happen. But I remember me talking about going to East Carolina University for Halloween. And not going to the actual school, but anybody from North Carolina or any of the surrounding uh, areas knows. I'm not from North Carolina. And I was 27, four, five years, six years removed from college. Well, I Who was- Who is gonna go to a college party? It wasn't a college party. Anybody- Who's gonna go get any, I'm not even from North Carolina. I don't know this place. Anybody who's from here or any of the surrounding areas knows, Greenville be lit for Halloween. I don't even know where that is on the map. And a bunch of other stuff. I mean, not really, but it's really just easy. But anyway, it's like a big college town for people who don't know. And it's like a big, they do Halloween crazy. So I'm like, I'm about to go to ECU. She's like, oh, word. You should come to ECU. She's like, oh, uh, oh, oh, yeah, I heard about that. I want to, I think I might go this year, whatever, whatever. Small talk. So she like, well, so I'm like, well, yeah, I ain't gonna be here no more, whatever. She like, all right, well, boom, put my, put your number in my phone just in case I want to go to ECU. It's the part she don't remember. You know what I'm saying? Why would I want to go to ECU and why would I want to go to ECU with you? Well, when do you want to go to ECU with me? Why would I go to a college party? You must thought I was different than what, what I was. I keep saying ECU. I mean Greenville. ECU was in Greenville, but it was more so about going to Greenville. More than it was about going to ECU. So, boom. 
I'm like, all right, cool. Whatever, whatever, lock her in. Whatever the case may be. Now, all the stuff about her not liking me and me not liking her and all that stuff, it's not true. I liked her the whole time. Y'all gotta understand, like, before me and Kristen met, like, I was really, like, in my bag. Any man can understand what I'm saying. Like, I was in my bag. I was messing with, you know, a, a few young ladies that are irrelevant now. You know what I mean? Irrelevant. And, you know. Y'all can't even spell irrelevant. I was like, you know, kind of like in my bag. So I wasn't really necessarily looking for a relationship per se. Now, when I met Kristen, I was like, I instantly, and she'll tell you this, this is not a lie. I instantly cut off every girl I was talking to. I told no, her. No, not when you met me, when we started talking. That's the same thing. Before no. Before we started talking, I didn't know you. Okay, but when we, when we started talking like dating, Nah, well, when she, we started talking, like knowing that we was feeling each other, we have different definitions. Cause to me, dating is when you together. I don't count until y'all like, okay, that's my girl, that's my dude, or whatever. Y'all not dating. Y'all just friends, in my opinion. But she thinks otherwise, so it is what it is. But before we even got to a situation where we was doing any real talking, I was just like, look, boom, I'm done. I text her. I said, look, I'm not talking to nobody else. I mean, at the end of the day, you can do what you want to do, but I'm, I'm chilling. And I told him, don't cut off your girls because I'm not, to I'm not going to cut off the she people I'm dating. No, to no, I just knew what I wanted. And you wasn't talking to dudes? I, oh, I wasn't talking to girls? That's crazy. But see, I, it's always, see, everybody thinks it's always the man who have a hard time cutting off their little I piece. didn't have a hard time. I just wasn't going to put all my eggs in one basket and keep dating and dating and dating. I am the basket. Okay, it keep seriously, keep dating and dating and dating and nothing ever even comes of it. So I I'm the best. Until until I knew I am the best. Until I am the eggs. Okay, until I knew that this was a serious thing, no, I didn't cut off people. That's correct. I still talk, I still text back. I I I don't know if I went on any dates. I don't think so. Meanwhile, Carisha couldn't get a text back. So I'm over here trying to be I don't even know. You can go be with Carisha if you want to, whoever the heck that is. Ain't nobody worried about Carisha. Carisha, if you out there, he, he so on the to market. Carisha. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so basically, yeah, that's pretty much how that went. And it's an interesting story. We actually end up going to the mountains, like, around Valentine's Day, right? Yeah, Valentine's Day weekend. It was like, it was weird because, like, I, I was telling my homeboys, I'm like, yo, I'm finna. Because, you know, any any man, you know, you got homeboys, they know, like, who you messing with. So, I'm like, yo, I'm about to cut all these girls off. I'm finna start taking Chris serious. Like, bro, I think this is it type situation. And everybody was like, bro, what you doing? Why you don't keep, like, what? Y'all ain't together. You better do your thing, da, da, da. And I was like, nah. So, boom, Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day was coming around, I was like, I want to do something different because we'll get talk about this in another video, but I'm a huge proponent in not taking women on dates too early. I think that you should. Y'all, he came to my, don't listen to him. He about to lie to y'all. I'm not At lying. the end of the day, do what you want to do because he about to lie. I will talk about that in another He's video. He's about to lie. I, but my thought process is you shouldn't take he a woman out. Is with spending his money. <laughs> so, my thought process, you shouldn't take a woman out until you really think that you're very interested in her. That's not true. Okay, we exchanged numbers in October. We can agree on that because you was talking about Halloween, right? Mm. Halloween's at the end of October. My birthday is the beginning of November. For my birthday, you came to my house to cook for me. Yeah, but number one... You had to spend your money to hold do on, that. Hold on, number one... I and don't. I still went out after. Number one, I know. Yo, she was dogging me in the beginning. I forgot all about that. She was dogging me. But number one, I normally don't cook for women off like straight off gate. Like I feel like it's kind of corny. Like any 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 man that cooks for a living understands what I'm saying. Like it's kind of corny. That's like a go to. But thing. I asked you. But she. Asked. You feel